A girl threw a punk party at her home on Woodlake Avenue in Woodlands Hills while her parents were away. It was between Greg's house and Jay's house. Greg, Jay, and Pete went to the party and were surprised to see Mike Muir from Suicidal Tendencies present, accompanied by several members of the Dogtown skateboarding crew, including Jay Adams, Dennis Polar Bear Agnew, and other punk skateboarders from Venice Beach. Jay knew the Dogtown crew from his skateboarding days, and they, of course, had heard of bad religion. A group of high school football players were having a party next door. Jay felt they were going to have problems from the beginning. The sad reality was that his neighbor was an athlete who was having a party with players, and they were all from El Camino Real. So they were all people that Greg and I knew, Jay said. A young punk was attacked by a group of football players. When he arrived at the party, bruised and bloody, he explained that some athletes present at the party next door had beaten him. The Dogtown guys immediately went next door to talk to the group. There, the team misread the situation and emerged from the residence with baseball bats, thinking that this would intimidate the punks. The Venice Beach skateboarders weren't the punks the El Camino real athletes were used to dealing with. These punks were just as athletic and aggressive as the players, maybe even more so. To say that punks had a predilection for street violence was an extremely mild statement. For Greg, it was a scene from a movie. The idiot football players came out onto the street with baseball bats. The beach punks just walked up to them and knocked the bats out of their hands because these players weren't used to people standing up to them. The punks grabbed the bats and they chased the players who ran away. When the athletes fled, the punks entered the house and destroyed it with the weapons that had been used to threaten them. They turned the house inside out, Greg remembers. They just demolished it, adds Jay. None of the members of Bad Religion participated in the acts of vandalism at the party, but everyone agreed that the time had come to leave. Pete left there with his girlfriend, and Greg and Jay headed to Hollywood with the members of Dogtown. The images are representative only. Help us improve our channel. Subscribe or join the Subscriber Club.